Whitley Court, Great Whitley, Worcestershire, England is a ruined Italianate mansion, built for the Foley's in the 17th century on the site of a former manor house, it was enormously expanded in the early 19th century by the architect John Nash for Thomas Foley, 3rd Baron Foley. This was the grand entrance. And this is what it looks like today. In 1920 Whitley Court was sold by the second Earl to Sir Herbert Smith, a Kidderminster carpet manufacturer. Sir Herbert maintained only a skeleton staff to manage the house whilst he and his family were away, and many areas were left unused. A major accidental fire broke out in September 1937, whilst Sir Herbert was at another of his houses. It started in the bakery situated in the basement room of the now least preserved tower. This was the grand ballroom, and this is what it looks like today. The estate was later sold to the Earls of Dudley, who undertook a second massive reconstruction in the mid-19th century, employing the architect Samuel Dawkes to create one of the great palaces of Victorian and Edwardian England. The staff tried to put the fire out with the ancient fire pump, which was connected to the fountain, but it failed to work as it had not been maintained for many years. Although only one wing of the house was gutted by the fire, and the rest of it was almost intact, the insurance company declined to cover the major damage, so Sir Herbert resolved to sell the property. The estate was broken up and sold in lots. The house was bought by scrap dealers who stripped what they could from the house, leaving it an empty shell. In 1972 the remnants of the house and garden excluding the church were taken into care by the government, via a compulsory guardianship order. The ruins today are still spectacular, and the property is in the care of English heritage.
In 2003 Whitley Court's owners, the Widgington family of Stratford-upon-Avon, who had acquired it in 1953 for £20,000, placed the freehold for sale on eBay for £975,000. The management arrangement with English Heritage was to remain unchanged The sale was relaunched 2008, and Whitley was sold for less than £900,000.